Hi, I'm Tammy Hanlon. I'm the city manager of the city of Tucker. And I am going to let you in on a little secret. I am not a great cook. But I am married to a wonderful man who is a fabulous cook. And um, he has kept me healthy and fed for a long, um, long time. So I'm here today for my Tucker experience. I'm going to be shown uh, by Michael Green um, how to make Matthew's famous meatloaf. We're going to make meatloaf today. So excited. Yeah, I am too. Maria's excited because you're helping her out prep. Great. But the magic happens in the basement, which is where the kitchen is at Matthew. So, you ready? I'm ready. We will use gloves to mix. Now, per health code requirement, this is a raw product. We technically don't have to, but you want to. Once I got used to wearing gloves, I hated them at first, but it's like, yeah, I don't want the, I don't want that all in my fingernails and stuff anyway, so. When my husband and I were first dating, I thought that I would impress him for Valentine's Day, and um, I made him a heart-shaped meatloaf. Right. And he took two bites, and he said, let me do the cooking. <laughs> <laughs> Everything you can buy at the store, Lawry seasoning salt, garlic powder, onion powder, fresh onions, fresh diced green peppers. What we have here is 40 pounds of 8119 ground beef. 81% lean beef, 19% fat. You could go leaner. I just don't recommend that for meatloaf. So what we have here is one quart, four cups, of quarter inch fresh diced onion. You want to shake that evenly across the top. The more even we do it now, the easier it's going to be to mix. So now, who, where are all the prep cooks doing this? That's a lot of chopping right there. That took me 10 minutes. That took you 10 minutes? Yes, ma'am. You, you got it. <laughs> Next, we're going to put in our seasoning. Great. You know, I tell people all the time at Matthew's Cafeteria, you can go to the grocery store and buy every ingredient we use, except maybe a couple of little secrets. But for the most part, there are no secrets. Today, we're going to use Lawry seasoning salt. And I want you to gently sprinkle in evenly three quarters of a cup. I was going to ask you about measuring. Um, one thing I've noticed with a lot of that is perfect. experienced cooks, yes. chefs, is that they don't measure. You, now, would yes. you be measuring if you were doing this on a normal day? You, you can uh, freewheel it with a lot of things, except salt. Whatever your salt ingredient is, you need to know what you're putting in there. Okay? And this has a lot of salt. It does. Doesn't it? Not, it's I mean, the first ingredient, yes. So you can see we've we've put a lot of different things, but we haven't put a whole lot of one thing. Less is more. We right. want to taste beef. And then maybe a little pepper. You know, this is not a, a quart is not a lot against 40 pounds of ground beef. Right. So, okay, our last ingredient is 20 eggs pre beaten. Okay. And would you, now oh, come good. on, that's fun. Okay. Pour it. Again, as evenly as you can, it just helps with the mixing process later. The time has come. You want to take one side, I'll take the other? Okay. Or you want go. the whole thing? <laughs> I think uh, for in the interest of time, you better help out. Today is Thursday, and we're going to serve this on Sunday. And that allows it to marinate? Heck yeah, man. All the flavors are going to mellow out and uh, come together. The garlic powder and onion powder are going to they're gonna get saturated. Well, I had a blast. Well, me too. I Thank hope you, you did. Very much. Yeah. We're gonna, 
I don't know. After 30 years, maybe it's time to give it a try again. Huh? Yeah, why not? Try making it well, my husband. And you got to come to the to the basement. And I Nobody it. knows yeah, where I the food guess. comes from. I, yeah. It's true. This is like the uh, secret room down here. This is it. Yeah. This is where, where it happens. happens. So thanks for being part of my Tucker experience. I um, think that with a little guidance and um, inspiration, we all can make some uh, magic happen in the kitchen, just like um, Michael showed me today. So for more information on Matthew's Cafeteria and daily menus, visit matthewscafeteria.com and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com backslash cityoftucker.